What's going on everybody? Uh, last night was a crazy night. Uh, we have come to find out that Donald Trump will be our president for the next four years. And there were a couple things on social media about, you know, people wanting to leave the country. Um, people won't be able to stand four years with this guy in office. You know, a whole bunch of trolling going on from Trump supporters, from Clinton supporters. And, you know, this morning I put out a couple Instagram posts and tweets saying, you know, my flight's booked. I'm on my way to Canada. But I really want to give you guys a reason why I'm going to Canada, man. I don't want to sit up here and just skate on you guys and you guys don't understand what's going on and my true feelings about the whole situation. So let me give you my reason. All right, so the real reason that I'm going to Canada is that I'm going to an EA Sports event for UFC. Yes, I told you guys months, maybe a year ago, that I have been a game changer with EA Sports for a while now. And my game that I work on the most is UFC. So I know what people will probably say. Hey, there's other game changer programs. Why aren't you a part of Madden game changer program? Or why aren't you a part of the NBA Live Series game changer program? Well, I haven't had the chance to actually talk to anybody from that side of things but UFC Game Changer program is in Canada it is in Vancouver and that's where I will be from the 17th to the 20th now what I can also tell you guys is that I will be vlogging out there I will be recording and just to let you guys know they have a great basketball facility there so I'll probably be dropping some footage of me playing basketball out there maybe against an EA staff member maybe another game changer you never know uh, it's a lot that I could probably do out there man they even have a feel for actual soccer so it's a lot that I could do out there man they have a gym they have a MMA facility it's it's lit out there but I know a lot of people probably was like yo iPod crazy really trying to move to Canada nah man I was just trolling you guys man I knew that I was actually going and I just used that as a segue to the whole election process and campaign so you guys don't have to worry man your boy's not going anywhere as of right now the way I feel about this whole Donald Trump situation and Hillary Clinton situation a lot of people say that it's a lose-lose situation whether you like it or not but in my honest opinion I've spent my eight years as a registered voter with Barack Obama you guys have to remember this guy served two terms of four years so ever since I've been able to vote he's the only president that I've been able to vote for now that would probably classify me as a Democrat but you know a lot of people out there say well why don't you vote on these views or if you like this or if you like that a lot of people happen to be disappointed with the way that the whole campaign came out you have to understand we live in a different world now man it's not really all about the politics anymore people love the troll people love the internet sensations the fame and you know it's a lot of money behind Trump and maybe people that voted for him feel a certain way about his views and everything like that me personally I, I just don't like the stuff that he was saying, you know, he was saying some outlandish stuff and I don't really want to get into that because I don't want to promote that. But what I can promote is that this man, whether it be his inaugural speech or if it be a press statement that he comes out with, he has to let the American people know that he's got all of us, that he has all our backs, because if he doesn't, there's going to be turmoil, there's going to be chaos, and eventually it's going to be civil unrest. And you know what happens with civil unrest, civil war. So my views on it is just, I hope everybody rocks steady, you know what I'm saying? Um, definitely worry about your families first, worry about God first. Don't let this election dictate how you're going to live your life. Keep living your life the same. If anything does change for the worse, please be safe if anything changes for the good maybe one day you can say you know what didn't like him before i like him now it, it all depends on your outlook on it man but your boy is going to canada november 17th uh i hope to be there for probably three days straight and you know it's going to be a lot of great work with the ufc dev team man i can only say great things about these guys i know that a lot of people will probably say hey man game changes program ain't nothing y'all don't help with nothing i can tell you one positive thing every ufc game that has come out it has it bugs right it had a couple bugs but all in all it was a great game correct yeah that I don't have to say anything else. UFC 2 was a great game, still is a great game, and uh, we can only hope for more. So uh, I know you guys probably want some gems like iPod, iPod, there's another game coming out. When is the release date? Oh my God. Don't worry about that. Just I hope you guys have a nice day. 
Uh, this is like one of my first official vlogs with this uh, new camera that I got, man. So I'm pretty hyped. I got things down the pipeline, ideas. Oh, I can't wait, man. But I want to thank everybody for watching. And I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Peace.